Okay, now we're recording. Um, this is the Technology Committee meeting on Tuesday, May the 1st, and it is about 6.05. I'm Steve Miller. If you could introduce yourselves, then we'll take our tennis. Kevin Strobel. Uh, Julia Olofsson. Kathy Hain. Megan Weber. Scott Metz. Okay, um, let's get started with the agenda then. Um, agenda first item on the agenda is the financial system contract review, which would be the Skyward contract. Has everyone had a chance to take a look at it? Okay. Um, I do have a couple of questions. Um, one is uh, going through the software, looking at it, it looks like a pretty comprehensive package with finance and uh, all the other pieces. Uh, just wanted to make sure, is budgeting included as part of the package that we're getting? Yes. It is. Great. Great. It looks like it has a, a very yeah, nice a whole, budgeting feature. Yeah. It's also um, a employee. Um, it's, we do the negotiations. Yep. The negotiation, mm -hmm. the negotiation yeah. piece. Yes. Good. Good. We put several of the scenarios in there and use it as budgeting. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I went through the pieces and uh, they had budgeting called out and I guess it's part of the financial piece. Yes. So, okay. Great. Um, we are doing an on-premise solution. It's not. We're not going with the cloud option. That's why I gave you the second contract. Yep. Right. Um, <clears throat> so that's money. Um, I believe in the long run it, it is less. Um, what do you know, do? We know the price difference from. It's Probably. definitely less of a fee. So. It's definitely less of a part, as well. I think it's thirty some thousand dollars a year for CSIU, and this was just under it, maybe just within a thousand dollars. <clears throat> the reason I ask that is, is that the expense of backups, taking the backups off-site, there's a lot of other things that happen in the cloud automatically. Mm -hmm. um, and with, the, with everything's going cloud-based, I was just wondering, was there a thought process around not going cloud-based? The, uh, the cloud solution was about a $7,500 yearly additional charge. Okay. Um, the current financial system is on-premise, so some okay. of those costs are existing for cloud backups, that sort okay. of thing. Um, if it gets to the point that the student information system comes online with Skyward, at that point, I think it would be more uh, attractive to do the cloud-based solution at that point for okay. um, our existing backup system is not designed for that level of data. So there's no hardware investment then? No, we're going to do no, some no additional, oh, right. okay. Right. No okay. additional hardware investment that I saw. Yeah, I just was a question. Yeah. I'm not, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, that's a great question. And uh, I guess Skyward, uh, as we look, it is a good match for the, the, the information system that, that we're looking for. Okay. I would, the cloud, one thing we have to look at if we would go cloud is uh, the security, Correct. making sure the data center is, is <coughs> up to speed. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Um, I did have, let's see, additional functionality. There, there's a line item called True Time. Uh, wasn't clear as to what that is. That replaces our. Um, time clock. Very time, time clock. Okay. So th th that's employee time entry? or yeah. okay. Great. All right. Um. <clears throat> what do they currently use? Uh, Bear time. Bear time. Yeah, it, it interfaces with the uh, same product we use for our sub tracking, which is ASOP. Right. Yeah. Throwing just names out there, basically. <laughs> I don't expect you guys to. <laughs> no. Yeah. And that's where the cost savings comes in because where it's included in the fee included in annually. I got you. We don't Great. have to do that anymore. Okay. So and it's replacing. We're replacing CSIU, and you said how much? That was how much a year? Is it? Like thirty some thousand a year, and this is this one's about thirty thousand, but it includes the true time. Now we get to get rid of the bare time for the ASAP side. When you say this is thirty thousand, the annual fee for this uh, it looks like is it thirty thousand? It's eighteen two plus. Are there add-ons here? Yeah, I believe there's add-ons. I was doing it. So, so I was trying to figure out. Yeah, it looked like the annual spend after we got started was eighteen thousand two hundred two. I think it's not thirty. It's eighteen thousand. It was thirty thousand yeah. before, but it's eighteen thousand. It was about eighteen nineteen thousand a year for CSIU. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so they're, they're about to wash. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what the other one saves? The timekeep one. What would that save? Sixty-five hundred. Oh, that saves. So we're sixty-five to the good now. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a one for one. I right. know whatever the annual fee is, it's a one for one. Okay. My numbers. Minus the sixty-five hundred. Minus the sixty-five hundred. Okay. Because That's now great. I don't have to pay for that. Good. All right. Um. I did see project management was included. Did, did we know how many hours for as far as the implementation is going to be? I, I, I know people like to do that. I, I just it seems like a lot for. <laughs> I think it says it right on there. They give us like twelve hours or six hours or ten hours or. I, I think that's the training, <clears throat> but I, it, yeah, this it's the implementation for. 
the installation of web service of the let's see web server setup and installation and I'm assuming the other pieces with the data migration that, that they in the text they claim that they, they, it's complex that so they need a project manager and then they're charging us um, seventy six hundred dollars and they're discounted by twelve hundred so they're charging us six thousand dollars for a project manager. What they do is they have a project manager that I have weekly calls with. Okay. And then it'll go to bi weekly as soon as the process as it goes through. Mm -hmm. When I first did it for Exeter, we had the first project <coughs> When they start it all up, they have a calendar, everybody puts their vacations and we go through and we have one contact, which is the project manager. Now you're gonna have your specialist come in and I'm gonna have that central person that knows the payroll system and the finance places and that that's gonna be the on in-house where they come and sit with us. But mostly my project manager is the one that I'm gonna be sitting and they're gonna tell me, okay, do you have this ready? Do I have this ready? Or they're gonna check on us. So mm -hmm. every couple of weeks we have a phone call as it goes through. Okay. We have a whole calendar. It's, we had we sat up in the conference room and we had a, the technology guys there with me at the mm -hmm. same time. So we're on site when start at startup. Are they on site to start up? When, when we start up the they implementation, will they be on? When they're actually will they be here? come on site yeah. because I think they give us it was six to ten hours in there. Yeah, there's definitely <laughs> training hours and. How many people would you say are going to interface with it? I'm sorry for not knowing all this. No, but, no, no, yeah. it's okay. How many people are going to? How many people are going to interface with the system? They're giving you six to ten hours of training. I mean, yeah. How many people are they going to train in six to ten hours? I don't know how many people will need to be trained. I guess we're, we're going to have the payroll person. Uh, the biggest portion of the entire Skyward, when you switch over to Skyward, is the what's called the black box. The black box houses all of the information from an HR standpoint. Mm -hmm. So you have all of your teachers that have all <coughs> the certifications, all that, and what you put all on this black box then gets put in there. The payroll had like I think three or. Four hours. We had someone on site the entire day that one day, right. and they trained everybody within the payroll. So you, oh, that's why the calendar, the project manager, the planning. You go through that process when the people are there. You have and there's also the attendance piece that goes associated with that payroll. Right. And then the finance side, that was ongoing. I had someone in two or three days, maybe a whole week's worth, periodically. <coughs> they might right. have a half day here, half day there, because you've used the system before that. I actually installed the entire from start to finish at Exeter Township School District. Hold on. Good. Drop the mic. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one. I was the lead. I was the Perfect. project person Good. in charge of that. Oh, that's great. So I've already had total experience. I did I get the opportunity because they invited me free of cost. Well, gas. You guys paid for gas. But I get to go up to sit with the user just to kind of see what kind of changes happened between since I've been there and since I've been here. Great. So that was one of the main reasons is because I've already investigated all the other software packages that are available to school districts. This one, um, <coughs> Wilson has all the other local school that it's, it's nice to, and I've done it from start to finish. Experience is a big plus. The business manager actually did everything <coughs> on this side and then I was the assistant business manager and she could put me in complete charge of it. Great. So uh, I guess as far as uh, installation, uh, we're buying the software, where it's a $63,000 cost, and then services to, to convert is another 65000 So we're looking at 120 something uh, I think it's in here somewhere. But So uh, is that it's currently in next year's budget, or? I'm taking out, when you see Thursday night's presentation, okay. I will have it out of there. Okay, so you'll remove and it. And I you... will be um, putting it in this year. So you, we have funds for this year yes. for that. Okay. <clears throat> Current year funds, um, and I see it says that the eighteen thousand two hundred, um, the, the annual fee, it starts whenever we install it. Is do, do we know when that would be? Is when it would go live? Is the the, the fee? We're looking at sending the check to them to buy the software on six four. I gave you the implementation schedule that mm -hmm. we had. Okay. That gives you a preliminary look at how long everything is going to be taking place. Okay. As soon as we go live. It depends on the pieces. I think they take the separate pieces out. Like you have your accounting side, the, the, there's oh, oh, the core package right up there. The finance piece, you have the schedule. Oh, okay. uh, Put this in front here. That way it's more. I think it's December because we go live January 1. So oh, go live January 1. Okay. Yeah. yeah. From a W2 I'm going to have to run okay. the CSIU, of course, concurrently because we're going to run the W2s out of the CSIU system. For now, yeah. Of course, okay. it's just a yearly, but okay. splitting up a contract, they have a really neat system 
inside Skyward that helps you see both sides of it coming from two different systems. So okay. from a contractual standpoint, when you're doing payroll and doing your year in payout, it's very <coughs> easy because they have two separate line items in each employee. So. Okay. So I guess for the the budget starting in July, we're going to need to have part of the eighteen thousand in for whenever yeah, we go live. Yeah, include some of that in this year's cost. For you know, when I send them the money, it's, mm -hmm. it's okay to do it that way. Okay. Put it as a prepaid. That way, it comes out, and I don't have to worry about it. And we're still going to have CSIU for one more year. Okay. So you're going to prepay for this for next year as well. I have the money within this budget right now. Okay. That's the whole hundred twenty-seven thousand eight hundred seven dollars. Yeah. And okay. that includes that eighteen thousand. Okay, great. So uh, then, and the, the CSIU is in for because we need to use it. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now, does that feel good from eighteen thousand down with CSIU? The no. CSIU will be just for one year. The true time we're going to have to keep carrying as well. True time we can cut mid. Mid year. Yes. Okay. So you have so, half the cost. So, we'll so it sounds like CSIU, yeah. What, do we know when that contract starts? Probably starts at the beginning of the year. It's probably one full year of CSIU, yeah, and contract. then that will go away, and we're going to prepay year. for. Yeah, it's a fiscal yeah. year. I yeah, he's going to be paying for two systems for one year. Correct. So if two Pre systems prepaying for one, one, for yeah, yeah, one year. Yeah, yeah. For, for the 18,000. One out of the yeah. one year. And yeah, it sounds like it won't be the full 18,000 because it's prorated whenever it goes live, it's when it would start. Okay. Any questions, uh, Julia? No. no. Um. <clears throat> what, going, do they have any online training at all? Yeah. From a, do you mean just like a, a knowledge base that users could reference? Yeah, they have that, and then um, some level of the training will be web based as well. I mean, there's training for. They have it um, a lot better now. Yeah. When you, I, I, I sold information systems for five years yeah. to, for car dealer, and it's. When you switch a system, it's massive. For three months, everybody's having a, mm -hmm. they're, they're throwing up in the corners. And so, but having somebody on site that knew the system was like, oh, <laughs> that's the heavens I've opened up, it. you know, it was yeah. great. Yeah. So having, you, that's, that's really, a, makes it so much better. The sales rep, the Ben Lynn <clears throat> person that I've been communicating with, I, that's the person I was in contact with. Right. I have the same people. So. Yeah, and what we did was, is, and I suggested this in one of our other meetings, anytime we do training, like if you have one person that goes around and just changes, let's train word, right? You have one guy goes around training, just videotape them one time and email the video. Here, oh, everybody right. watch this video. It's the same training over and over again. You can watch it a million times. You only pay for it once. It's yeah. really the economy of scale. So I didn't know what they had available. We'll they the have training. a lot of the online things. They do have yeah. a lot. I remember when I was Perfect. using it, they had online. So even when we had a... <clears throat> Some people move out and come back in with payroll. It was very easy to get that training. Right. I remember when I had a new payroll person, I actually paid for them to do the webinar with them and sat in the training <coughs> with them for okay. a few hours. It wasn't that costly, but it was nice to have that hands-on. Let her use the system for a little while yep. and then have the webinar so she can ask the appropriate questions. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess for the financial pieces, you'll be the primary user, right? Yeah. Right. And but you're you're right for the timekeeping and, and, and the business yeah, office yeah, that'll yeah, actually yeah. the HR when is probably the biggest, the, right? The purchase no. order, the purchase order piece okay. of this yeah. goes right down to the line item. Like instead of this um, spreadsheets that I get from the principals for their budget, yeah. they're putting the budget right into the system. I'm not even importing it anymore. Yeah. When I they're doing it. purchase orders, it comes straight from the teacher. Yeah. And then they have the hierarchy that goes through where the approval goes through the system. The teacher is actually putting the PO in, it goes right through. So that kind of training, I used to do once a year. I had a whole manual, I actually still have it on my little flash drive that I take my files when I go, but I have my little training manual that I did all the screenshots, did a complete training manual package for any teachers that came in. So it's really easy to use. That's great. Yeah, I it's think from what I've seen, I look at it, it's, they have things out online, documentation, yeah. whatever. But I look at it, it looks like some of the information that we've been asking for this budget season will be a lot easier to get to. It's a lot easier. Yeah. They have a little Excel button, you just punch the button, it goes right into Excel. Right. Much easier to use. Okay. That's great. All right. Um, I mean, I'm in favor of moving forward. Uh, do I, I, I yes. see heads nodding, so. No brainer. Okay. Well, good. So we'll, we'll recommend moving forward. Perfect. And I have to ask the question, and there's no way of not having two in one year. I mean, I know we're going to forecast it out and put the money in another year, and that's another way, accounting-wise, to make it. But there's no way to not have two systems, paying for two systems in one year. i got to run the w 2 Yeah, the w 2 You still have to run the w 2 right. It's very important yeah. to have the accuracy yeah. of that system right. for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
That's the only thing. Foils. I, mean, <laughs> I had to ask. I couldn't right. let it out. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't even know if we can cut that off in here. We could contact CSA IU and say, okay, I only want to sell. Yeah, see if they have a partial year for payment. And see if yeah. they have a partial year. Just because you don't want to throw, you know, I mean, it mm -hmm. sure. might need it somewhere else. You know? mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then we're going to talk about how many years we're going to transfer into Skyward and this, that, and the other. Two, I think two years is included, or maybe three, I'm not sure. I don't want that much. Because if you go back further, all the fixes in the accounting that I've been doing, mm -hmm. it makes, that data makes no sense. So, because I've been doing a lot of, because okay. we weren't caught up with PDE as far as the um, charge account. Mm -hmm. And I did all those corrections within the last two years. So bringing in the data, you know, garbage in, garbage, you know, you sure. understand that concept. So yeah. bringing in data further back, so we're going to have those data in the files that they'll access on CSIU, and we'll be able to have it right on the system, so it's not going to be a problem. Right. Okay. okay. Well, good. I don't have anything else. Uh, sounds like we have a recommendation to, to move forward. Yes. Perfect. I'll have it on the May agenda. <laughs> Great. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, good. Um, the next item on the agenda is the online payment system. Yep, so I have just a little brief literature with your packet there. Um, it's mostly just a brief white paper. Um, this is something Kathy and I were discussing. We've been using PayPal in the district for a couple online um, quarters, most recently um, AP exams at the high school. Mm -hmm. um, it's not conducive really to the, the level of tracking that we need to do from an account code basis and also just from a student record uh, perspective. And it's, it's probably something we've just been kind of pushing off, but I mean, it's just the nature of the world that people are <coughs> online payments and that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. with one-to-one -one, uh, in the future, looking for the most efficient way to collect uh, that fee, uh, we engaged in conversations, uh, particularly with this uh, vendor, My School Bucks. We looked at um, another one that pay schools that didn't quite have the features I was looking for with the <coughs> on a student information side. Um, and then obviously uh, PayPal, our existing uh, provider. But essentially what this would allow us to do uh, in the very short term, in a one-to-one -one perspective, um, is allow us to um, send a quote-unquote invoice uh, to parents. They can either choose to pay the insurance fee uh, or not, so we'd have that immediate tracking of who has or has not submitted payment you know, on a larger scale. Uh, the program has the feature set for everything from the activity fees to if we wanted to do plays and prom and, and things of that nature <coughs> to um, even in-person um, payments if we wanted to at you know, football games or something like that, if we wanted to move away from a, a uh, cash-only um, method of collecting <coughs> funds. Um, so that's does does it have like a mobile payment option? Mm -hmm. for? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, think about Square, PayPal. Okay. They yeah. have their own little thing that can plug into an iPad or something like that. Um, okay. No immediate plans for that level of growth. But, yeah. you know, no, I was just thinking football games, people pay with their phones and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I got, well, yeah. yeah. I never carry cash, so I would love that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah. So this is partly <laughs> driven by just my own habits, um, but uh, mostly just driven by, rather than using PayPal, um, the PayPal system is, you know, obviously is the processor. On the in-house side, you know, we've had to use a variety of tools, nothing consistent from the end user perspective for parents or different things, um, and each thing has to be kind of stood up um, and then migrated to a school solution. Any of the solutions we've used before, uh, basically, um, you know, we're modifying to accommodate a school because they're more e-commerce or certain things like that. They're not designed to collect, um, you know, who's your homeroom teacher, what's your student ID, and, you know, authentication methods, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, this product is, you know, designed specifically for schools. Um, they are, it, it, you know, it's really, I call it a, uh, you know, I don't want to call it a gateway drug, but it's almost like a gateway drug. Their, their money is being made by, they have a cafeteria, uh, point of sale system. Okay. Um, we're not engaging them on that front. This is free to schools. Um, they're, again, they're using it to get you in, uh, in bed with them, and then hopefully you think this is easy. Make a sale. Yeah, let's go sure. the, the it's a much warmer uh, opportunity to speak yeah. to you if you've been using my product for a couple yeah. of years. Yeah. It's exactly. warmly versus a cold walk-in. Yep. 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 So, yep. so what is the cost for? So for a transactional perspective, it's 3.9%. Okay. Um, and that's it from a cost perspective, nothing else. And you can opt to do a pass-along fee uh, to the parents, or it's an absorb model that the district absorbs that fee. What's PayPal charge now? 2.9 plus uh, 35 cents per transaction. So, plus uh, yeah, look at a $100 transaction. This product would be about 75 cents more on a per transaction basis, uh, based off of some of the workload on the back end, um, you know, 
know, felt that that was um, negligible in the, in the long run from a man hours perspective and that sort of thing. Um, it'll interface directly with our uh, student information system so we can <coughs> populate uh, student accounts and different things like that to have um, association of records right now. Um, Mrs. Ranieri and the guidance department is here to uh, tell you the pain it has been for AP exams because what Kathy receives on a PayPal end <coughs> isn't really worthwhile to them necessarily. Kathy sees transaction IDs and names, <coughs> doesn't necessarily have student names and, and uh, yeah, exactly. So, and they actually called me and said there was too much money coming through. They were surprised that the volume had increased. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, PayPal, yeah, PayPal. Yeah. Too much money coming in is not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't, I can't get Mike Miller's name off of it either. Yeah, that's been, I've yeah, tried that's... many times to get his name off that. Yeah, so, and even from a, uh, you know, they'll set up a general ledger in the background on this one to align more with our account codes, whereas I believe right now you can just do a general deposit. I just print a report and I send it off to Vacuumers, mm -hmm. and she's been actually doing it. Marcinko. Marcinko. She's actually trying to do some kind of reconciliation. I'm just taking it in, coding it, and right. it's extremely time consuming for whether it's the report is it's, 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 it's ugly. ugly. It's very it's, ugly. It's and just, we have 300 students involved in AP testing, so they're taking a variety of different things. So, and it's $90 per test, and some of the kids are taking one, and some are taking five. Yeah. So it's it's a massive volume of trying to interpret, and parents pay not just once. Sometimes, sometimes it's like, oh, we paid for this one, but now we forgot about that one. And mm -hmm. it's a whole variety of things. Yeah, when I paid for. Um, I have two kids, and so I had to do two separate transactions. Mm -hmm. And when I got to, you know, the second, it, it's, it, it's not <coughs> the way the interface doesn't doesn't really look like it's, you know, accounting for what you've just paid. Like magically, you know, you you, you envision it on your end, like it all like falling into a black hole. And I'm taking like a picture of every transaction just yeah. just, just, just to verify, you know, I mean, if, if if there were a way no. that it was a little bit more, because um, because the way I did it, you know, I I can see that you know I spent that money on my credit card through PayPal. But, um, <coughs> if there is if there is some functionality here where you can look through your previous mm -hmm. transactions, you know, that would make life easier. Correct. Right. Right. <coughs> um, this is going to be included for school lunch then too. No. Uh, this would not. Um, okay. We can engage in the conversation. Um, our current system is called Meals Plus. They have their own uh, online one. system. Um, <coughs> you know, and to be that product has not been really reevaluated in, since I've been in the district. So it continues to work, but it, you know, it's not. I thought 3.9 could end up changing that budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's a substantial amount. So. They charge a per. They charge a per. If you do it online yeah. um, with a credit card, they charge a per transaction fee, a straight up fee. <coughs> right. Yeah. Do we know what that fee is? Or? I think it's $2. $2. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. I, 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 when my kids bought lunch, I wrote a check. Right. <laughs> 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 I log in and I'm like, okay. And then I put it as much as I think, so I only get the people. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. You try to figure it so mm -hmm. once. Yeah. It's not so it's I, not I, three at three point nine, but one percent versus what we're paying now. It's still transactioning, so it's not correct. Can, correct. can I ask, is this if if we did bring this in on board, um, would that functionality just be for school fees or would we be able to offer it to the booster associations? We pay a lot of fees to them as well. Um I can ask. I don't I don't know the answer to that. I, I, the, the, the answer might be no. Yeah. <laughs> but I just I just wanted to ask that question. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, on the back end, I don't know what it looks like from a, I assume there's only one account that can be, the overall deposit account can be associated, but I can call inquire about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So do we have a contract with PayPal, or how does that work? Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, you just have an account on them. Yeah, and you can terminate Stop whenever you want? Yeah, okay. just terminate. Is this a contract? Uh, I don't know, is it? Is it contract about with this? Uh, they have basically, no, they don't have like a, a, a true contract, they collect your financial information, that sort of thing, but there's no um, you know, true like long-term agreement sort of thing. It's an e-commerce or store, similar to the process you go through for mm -hmm. PayPal, you sign up for the account. So I guess it's all on them, you give them banking information? Mm -hmm. for, Correct. So it's all on them to protect it then? Absolutely. Yeah, this is actually, I have, I'm sitting here trying to remember the uh, company, this is backed by one of the large payment processors, okay. um, and I'm killing myself because I can't remember what the larger company is that um, 
you know, within private industry. Hopefully not one of the many that have been breached. <laughs> Hopefully not one of the many that have been breached. I know, yeah, not, it's not Equifax or something like that. And so right now then, this is for what particular items they're going to be paying through this? Specifically targeting one-to-one -one and then room to grow, okay. you know, as we see fit, but. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, that collection of that and fees and insurance, and yeah. did they pay? Yep. And the thought is we would pass along. Are we going to pass along expenses, Aaron? That's what we do today with PayPal. The thought is we would pass the fee along fully? Or? Yeah, it's up. I mean, that would be up to the board for, you know, discussion there. Uh, we don't have a strong opinion one way or the other. If we pass the fee along to um, folks, um, we would probably have to still offer them the option to hand in a check. Right, right. All right, yeah. we wouldn't be yeah. able to go. Does the system allow an entry for a check? Does the system allow yes. an yep. entry for a check? Um, yeah, I can tell you just from, you know, from <coughs> the other schools, what other schools have done, um, you know, they've increased the cost of whatever item by two dollars and, you know, the fees. Included, yeah. Because you know, yeah. you know, it's more a psychological <coughs> impact. It is psychological. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I You're think right. whatever our internal costs are, or whatever it's well, reducing. The other, the other cost there is too is mm -hmm. the person that's got to take that check, yep, cash yep, the yep. check, deposit yep. the check, right, and right. enter the check. There's a lot of yeah. So I think with the cost. <coughs> right. So and if you're paying for PayPal anyway, it's one percent. Maybe it's just easy to throw it. In. No, we're not paying for PayPal. We're not parent, but I'm saying oh. so. It's not like we're asking them to oh, pay oh, oh, three point right, nine. Yeah. You're asking them to pay one percent more of it, it one hundred eighteen dollars. Was it? Right. Yeah. What's that? It was yeah. one hundred eighteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a dollar eighteen. I mean, it's one yeah. percent. Right. So, Some so. people have the thinking of it like I do. If you're saving money, I am not going to pay you. Right. Yeah, I'll <laughs> yeah, write the check. Just the <clears throat> stubborn. I got you. <laughs> so that, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Um, so what do you need from us at this point? Uh, it, it's more so, you know, just a a nod to continue discussions with them to make sure, um, you know, I put them pretty much at a, a stop point that, you know, I didn't want to go any further before mm -hmm. discussing with you guys so we can continue to vet them out, make sure everything is as we expect. Currently today you have no solution other than a spreadsheet to handle the payments other than something like this, is that correct? Yeah, correct. And when does that start? Uh, collecting the payments. When, when do you anticipate collecting payments from people? This would be something we'd look to have online for school year next fall. For school next fall, yeah, okay. in line with that. Yeah. <clears throat> the athletic office would be one. There are so many places that would be happy with that. <laughs> I mean, okay. whether you're talking about the people who lose their textbooks, the obligation list, the <clears throat> and all that stuff can tuck, can tuck inside of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. that's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah, it provides all that on the back end? For, Correct. Yeah, yep. yeah you could, uh, again, you have the, from an insurance perspective, we can send an invoice directly to the student to collect payment, or you can have you know, like an online store that people point and click and select what you want to pay for, that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. my, it's my understanding that the only things that would not be able to be handled by this system would be what yearbooks and photos, because we pay somebody directly. Um, uh, cafeteria fees because we use a separate system and probably anything for your kids sports or music that you that are handled by you writing a check to the music or sports users. Correct. Yeah, pending. That one I'll, I'll inquire. Does that, does that sound about right? Yeah. Um, don't we use a system, isn't our system for selling tickets at, at, uh, at events like don't we use a system that allows people to pick their seats? That's so we probably have to do that outside, correct? The high school, yeah, the high school uses that seat yourself. Dot is I'm not too familiar with that one. Over yeah, I haven't seen that. To find out about that one. To so football game, you pick your seat. No, no, and it's a music. And and it's football music. Game. No, yeah. If somebody is doing <laughs> fundraising specifically for a class, like it was for the class of 2019 or something yeah. like that, does that get put into a special fund, and so you can't do it through this, or are you? You could. Do you, do you, do you, do you, I'm, I'm asking questions. I don't know the answer. Come into an account and then we could transfer. It. That's all I would do is I transfer. It. <coughs> work. We could work it any way with the student activity and all that. That's <coughs> as long as it's in house. And yep. As long as it's an in house account. In house account. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's that's, do with the yeah. That makes sense. I mean, it does more and it's free. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I like that already. Yeah. Well, I, I guess we should have a conversation as yeah. far as if we I mean, want to emphasize to work, some of it to, to get more participation. That's the right. Yeah. It does put more. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it would, it we can, can, I mean, we can fold the easy stuff in now and work up to 
other stuff, you know, make it late, I guess. Great but, I mean, freeze, freeze nice. Yeah. Well, it's four percent for the parent. <laughs> Whoever's yeah. doing the payment. But it's, it's already paying. They're already paying three. Right. Won't pay back. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Unless they pay with a check, which shows right. right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. that that's kind of where I'm at, where right. I'm at with that. Right. And that, that's what I was saying. We may want to look yeah. at subsidizing it to get more participation because it will reduce our internal costs. Yeah. So, so that, that's something we have to consider. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, like I said, I'm gonna, we'll go back, you know, continue discussion with them. We'll probably come back and do the final update. Okay. You know, make sure yeah. again. And I guess as part of the additional cost, it would be good to know how much it costs us to process a check. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah, man hours. Yeah. On, on the entire, and, and the how much yeah. we're, how much Put we're it eating. In, I mean, yep. how much we're eating. We, we, transitioned, yeah. we transitioned in one of our businesses that just, there's no other option. That's what it was. I mean, we increased the cost and to pay with a check because of the increase there, right, right. there was a fee. Yeah. So you just yeah. add that yep. to the fee yeah. and all of a sudden everybody, $4 yep. looks better. Well, yeah. one of the reasons yeah. we, because there is an expense to it. I'm not Correct. trying to rip anybody off. Yeah. It's well, an expense. Just yeah. a, uh, an accountability perspective, one of the reasons we did AP exams this year was, I mean, that's totally upwards of $40,000, $50,000. That was sitting in the high school office or have to, you know, exchange hands because yeah. it was music coming into the high school now. Um, hopefully, you know, much more secure process that we don't have multiple people having to touch <coughs> those funds. There's probably four people the, to, from the time at the high school level that they get the money, and that's not counting, well, it may count the advisor, the point person, then yeah. the secretary, then through the business office, like it has to go through the courier to the business office, then they have to process it, then it goes back to, like, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a, a slow process. Yep. Yeah. And it's only because there's so many people involved. Is that something that you would consider then thinking about just saying this is the only way? I mean, it's something to think about. I mean, that would be the goal. I mean, just because it yeah. the expense of all these different methods, different checks, the entries, and accounting wise, trying to keep track of it, forward it back. I mean, there's an expense to that, so you right. yeah. lay it out um, to the side of that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think most parents will probably gravitate towards it just because we're so used to it in our everyday lives. Right, for sure. We are. Yep. Things, so but I think if you plan it out, say you know. Yeah. You can do it this way. It's mm -hmm. three point nine percent, or you can write a check and it's three point nine percent. Yeah, I mean, I don't believe we had really much pushback at the high school from an AP. No, yeah. the hard part is just changing the culture of oh, it's AP time. I write a check, and, yeah. and right. you know, improving our communication because the kids have been told probably twenty times, and the parents have happening. been told a time or two, but the disconnect between a teenager and their parent is always going to be what it is. Mm -hmm. So if you have the online and you can push it out and put it on <coughs> your parental platforms in a convenient way that's user-friendly, I don't know, and you feel confident when you use it, yeah. I don't think it'll be much of an issue. We just eliminated the option. Right, yeah. right. It's, the communication I mean, happened can, over we could, after the first year. You, one thing you could do is you could try to do it by not charging, we could try to do it like with one aspect of things that we right. pay, we charge mm -hmm. people for yeah. without charging an additional fee. Mm -hmm. And then people can either write a check or they can use the, the new system. And then at the end of the year, we can look and see how much money we lost to yeah. the system. And you know, it might just mean, it might, if, if we want to use it, we, it might mean that activity fees go up a little bit, but that might be something for future, not for the first year. Yeah, and I, I don't think we're going to lose any money because you're going to have cost savings from labor. It's just, do, do we want to use this as a way to gener generate more revenue is the only thing, because you're going to save money by people using the system, but I'm it's just, another way to bring in more money if we want to do right. that. So. I, I'm just saying if you okay. wanted to try, like yep. you said, there are people out there that um, if they're offered the option to yeah. do something super convenient, but it costs more, they'll do the not so super convenient thing. Yes. Yeah. And, and yep. you know, I know. <laughs> but, but um, uh, you know, so I, I was just thinking that a way you could like kind of test the waters um, and um, bring along some of our some of our other board member friends that might be um, you know afraid of losing cash. Mm -hmm. you know, we could do it with just like one aspect of things that we have to pay for. Yeah. I mean, and like, where we are financially, I'm not opposed to keeping the fee on the parents and eliminating the yeah. other option. It's just uh, yeah. from the start, because right. we need the money. Well, it's an expense to do it. Right. It's not really, it's good. I like it a lot, thank you. It's good. I like the aspect of just like being told by someone other than having to wait for my kids to tell me that I owe money <laughs> no. or something, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> it's basically, it's cost neutral. Is this something you have to send through the board or is this just something that you're going to go do and have the place by? Well, as we uh, work through, we'll make sure that there's nothing that they're going to start having us to sign. If yeah, we get to that point, then it'll be coming okay. back to you guys. Yeah. Is this something that you want to bring to the board now or are you just, this is for No, I want to go back to them okay. first. Okay. And then get some more information. Okay. Yeah. 
June, I'll give you the, gotcha. you know, the high sign or which way we, we end up okay. going. Okay. And will there be an icon for, I know that there's an app, but will we put an icon on our, um, our, um, our app? Yep, you know? yep, yep, we can definitely do that. Yeah, we'll have it on the Steve homepage. There's the cafe one, I think, is on there. Yeah, 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 we'll do the exact same thing. All right. Yep. Okay. Sounds like we covered that item. Um, the, the next item on the agenda is looking for an update on the uh, data warehouse solution that we have approved. Yep, so Mr. Hurley is at a federal programs uh, event, but we are in process with implementation of that. Uh, their project coordinator has reached out to the district. Um, we are working um, with them to establish the connection to our student information systems, so <coughs> the student demographic information okay. and whatnot, get that flowing towards um, their system. So. Um, I would categorize that as uh, in progress. Okay. So this, this, I hadn't heard the solicitor reviewed the contract. Everything contract was approved and signed. And, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Do we have any idea as far as a, a project <coughs> plan timeline for? Yes. They did send one. Um, I'm trying to recall the exact end date. It, it is in alliance again with the start of the school year. Um, I believe they had. Um, most of the project work done by late July, and then that allows time in August for uh, training and onboarding of, of uh, principals, faculty, that sort of thing. Okay. Can I get a copy of that? I, I'd yeah. like to see yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that covers that item. Um, I wouldn't talk about the, the upgrade plans for the summer, <coughs> right? for, for the infrastructure. Correct. Um, so largely what we presented last month, um, you know, remains on track. Uh -huh. um, I did have the one uh, you know, highlight that I did anticipate some savings with our hardware costs. Um, projected that at about forty thousand dollars. We have hit that at forty thousand dollars, so I'll be sending that over. Excuse me, uh, to Kathleen to reflect in the updated budget. That's on the client, excuse me, end user equipment. So an overall reduction <coughs> there, just you know, through uh, changes in product configurations, that sort of thing. We yielded. Okay. Um, some savings there. So we'll, we'll see that in, in the, the proposed budget yes. for July? Yep. yep. So we also received uh, word um, from the feds that our E-rate uh, reimbursement was approved, so that was approximately $100,000 uh, that we received that subsidizes um, the network infrastructure, so our access points and network switches. Um, so that number is reflected already in the budget. We budget anticipating receiving okay. that money, so um, we do not have to change anything. We can okay. you know, move forward um, accordingly on that front. We have approximately um, three hundred thousand dollars left for us to apply for um, over the next three years. Okay. Uh, moving forward is probably going to be mostly applied to network switches, uh, since we'll be doing the wireless infrastructure this summer. All right. And when do you anticipate starting the work? Uh, uh, July 1, so we usually try to get the POs out in advance, but we can't take receipt of the equipment until <coughs> July 1, just from an accounting perspective. Um, so um, okay. basically July and the first two weeks of August, uh, you don't really want to be around us as we're <laughs> scrambling to get everything done in six weeks. You can't do any of the, the prep work or wiring or anything? We don't, we're doing wiring right now, so we have the lines terminated in each classroom, so we can at least come through um, and just plug in the access points. Um, switches can't really do anything until they're on site, but um, as much as we can do in advance, yeah, we, okay. we're doing that right now. Yeah. Okay, good. No. Any other questions? No? <clears throat> All right, so let's move on to the one-to-one -one update and I guess lease plans and, and yep, so I, I forwarded out um, the riveting uh, reading of the actual lease document uh, Mr. Sievers does have that document um, last year when we did the faculty lease <coughs> um, he did make some adjustments uh, uh -huh. you know, accordingly for uh, school code so I assume he will come back with uh, similar um, adjustments to that but okay. um, it largely reflects our guidance really from last year about 110,000 per year leased over four years uh, that does include um, the actual iPad, um, the case, and any uh, management licensing as well to do the remote management of it. Um, we're working with um, Apple usually uh, with an order of that size. We can get some value added, so we're looking um, just from a workload perspective. They can case and um, asset tag the devices, so from a man-hours perspective, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, so we're working with them to see you know, what exactly we can 
get built in at no cost to, to us because it's such a large order. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing we're looking at is um, Apple Care, but not Apple Care that you think of with the device. It's more uh, from a systems engineer perspective, <coughs> it's a, he a higher level of access for us that we can bypass their uh, first two tiers of support and just go directly <coughs> to. Um, it saves time. Yeah, exactly. So um, we continue to work with those, but those would be, again, value add ins. They would not affect the overall. Um, cost one way or the other for us. Okay. As far as software, are we purchasing software? or? Uh, there's only one product that we're looking at purchasing. Uh, it's a Notability is the app, uh, okay. mostly for student note-taking, um, markup of worksheets, that sort of thing. Um, otherwise, um, anything else we're pushing out really falls in the um, Apple suite of products, so um, iWork, Keynote, um, Sheets. We'll also have Google Apps and uh, 365 on there, so they'll have the a full gamut of productivity apps. All those are, are free on uh, on our end. Will they have YouTube? YouTube? Yes. Yep. Because yep. teachers, I know. Teach yeah. Kids yep. So, and we uh, with our web filter upgrade this summer, um, we'll be able to manage that very nicely. That will have education only uh, YouTube okay. videos, and then Excellent. if they leave premise, then they'll have the, the normal. And YouTube. if something needs to have like it's uh, if something is uh, prohibited and it needs to be lifted. If that's you, that doesn't have to go all the way up the food chain to Apple, right? No, 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 no that's us. Yeah, that's yeah, us. They yeah. control the, the yeah. web filter. But you, you said when they leave premise, they can access? Yeah, it's so not going have, through our web filter? We can apply rules when they're in the building. Uh -huh. And if at home, if we wanted to leave uh, lighter restrictions at home just because they're not in class, we have that ability okay. uh, one way or the other. <clears throat> yeah, I see a different classification, but I still think you would want to block we'll still block, certain uh, kind of, yeah. Basic uh, CIPA. Uh, Children's Internet Protection Act. Um, okay. We're great. bound by. Um, oh, good. So that basically is block porn, uh, okay. gambling, things of that nature. We'll yep. still adhere to that fully 100%. So that's blocked. What no is the web filter they're going to be using? Uh, it's called Lightspeed Systems. Lightspeed? Yep. Yeah, yep. Familiar with them. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice that it's in place even when they're not here. No matter what, they have to go through our web filter. Yeah, because I mean, because I have a lot of kids, and mm -hmm. when they're all hanging out, they, they talk, and we don't think they're listening, but they're paying attention. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're generally not paying attention. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know, a big thing is foreign IPs. Now they're going oh, over yes. to these, uh, they're going to VPNs now. Yep. Yeah, these yeah. foreign VPNs through your network, and they're getting wherever they want to go. They're Snapchat, yeah. and they're doing all their stuff. We are blocking them weekly. We can <coughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Do you have to block oh. them one at a time? Well, for the most part. Yeah, well, most actually, part. Yeah, one, one thing I've done is uh, I work for a, a local company that we don't have international. We have some. I blocked just about everything outside of North America, <coughs> and then I had to open up um, oh, like England country, and, yeah. So yeah there's, there's, we, could you do that? <coughs> we can, um, so we have an ASA right now, so we can do it. Okay. It's a little bit more configuration. When we get yeah. the new firewall this summer, yeah. that's a, uh, oh my gosh. It's yeah, 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 that's what we did yeah, when okay. we replaced the yeah. Cisco. It's to block everything that you don't need, and yeah. that takes we, care of a lot of problems. We have that in place right now. Um, we do the same thing. Yeah. For our website, basically, yeah. we block um, anything outside of North America. We yeah. had you know, a couple of random ones open for yeah, when right. our kids are traveling abroad. Right, uh, right. But yeah, we did that because we were getting hit constantly with you know, Russian bots we're trying to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Chinese are there I'm all the time. Yep, we yep. did a, we just did it. We completed an analysis. 65% mm -hmm. of the traffic on our portals is out of country. Yeah. And oh, we, don't, yeah. we don't have anybody out of country. And it's mm -hmm. most Google bots. I mean, uh, spiders okay. and, oh, yeah. and, yep. and Russian yep. activity. Yep. Yes. It's amazing. It's almost every country is represented in mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and how they're banging on us. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's crazy. It was, uh, Prior to blocking foreign IPs, it was interesting just to look at the analytics for the site. That oh, okay. I mean, the huge. I mean, because at it's first we were wondering, oh, who, who traveled? And then it was. It became obvious. Right. No one yeah, traveled. Yeah, traveled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's shocking. Yeah. When you, when you see it like that, it's like yep. sixty-five percent is out of the country. We don't have a client out of the country. Correct. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Yeah. So. So. Okay. Uh, as far as the, the deployment schedule, you're going to give the iPads out on. Day one, or is it? We're looking within that week to two week time. First, right? first <coughs> couple of weeks. The, the okay. Guidance from the faculty has been set the tone early. Okay. Um, if we were to wait longer, then you start the year, you don't have the device in place, and you yeah. miss that opportunity to, to start the year off right. So okay. um, we haven't determined the exact date, but it'll more than likely be that pre Labor Day week that the okay. uh, students come back. Yeah, that's a good um, idea. Yeah, the only, on that time frame, the only thing um, to help us um, continue with that, and that's one of the reasons we sent. The contract to sewers now is um, approval in May would help us reach that target. Um, guidance from Apple is <coughs> approval in June. You hit you know the majority of just your normal budgetary um, purchases that every other school is doing in May. You know they can get the order in and process okay. them out to us earlier. 
Right. Um, training for these all happening in schools or set times for that? Is it going to be just for basically overall system or is there any? A little bit of both. Um, so in August we'll do parent academies um, and that'll focus on school GR uh, solution we already have on site already for uh, assignments, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, general device expectations that's okay. um, for parents and then for students what we're doing is mapping out I, I believe we titled it Academy or I call it Technology Technology day. Yeah. So right. I word. think it's an academy. Uh, but is there an area they can go to and get this training online again? If they want we to will have that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. The students. YouTube. What we're going to do is mark YouTube. Them. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it's crazy. It really um, is. But I'd yeah, like to just see some of the efficiencies come from from learning a, a basic schedule. I mean, mm -hmm. I I, ch I challenge my children every day. You know, put it in your planner. <laughs> Next yeah. week you'll know if you have. You know, but um. We're some of those things. We, our school G use continues to rise, and surprisingly, you know, without even a device usage, we're hoping once that's in place that they'll take advantage of that because Absolutely. everything will be there, um, yep. you know, just from, you know, higher ed, that's primarily where everything is, Blackboard or whatever yep. else. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just a life lesson learning to... It, it, that's yeah. where I was heading with yeah. it. They're going to use it later, and so... Mm -hmm. yep. to, Absolutely. It gives them an advantage. So. so the intention is to have a full day dedicated, if at all possible, to the rollout of the devices for the kids. So there's a variety of different aspects, okay. whether it be an introduction to the basics of how to use it, all the way up through to citizenship and how to use it effectively, then you know some of the apps and things that they need to be introduced to, the Google apps and logging up, or logging in and things along that line. Oh, that's great. So that would be a full day, probably in the first week. Yeah. Yeah. The plan is to immerse them and have a whole day because it's that important. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, we're trying. We're, we're doing, we're bucking the trend of some other districts. A lot of districts, um, you know, they did the parent and student thing over the summer at night. <coughs> I heard that they, a lot of them had trouble getting the students out. Yeah. They had their distractions. Summer so hoping <laughs> during, <coughs> during the school day, yeah. we have them. You're, you're, you're ours. We yeah, 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 yeah. have their attention. It's important enough to, to yeah. do that. Yeah. We can use the diverse levels of our staff to be able to implement the different training components. Mm -hmm. So some of them w are most comfortable, like here, here's the basics of it. Some of them want to show them all the details of this, you know, the Schoology and how you can use it and how you log in and how you yep. set up a group and, you know, all those components to be able to, and <clears throat> they can see their teachers using it in whatever fashion, let alone the students being able to use it. Sure. Uh, that raises a point that, have we decided as far as assistance with training? I know there was talk of having someone on staff or having a teacher, is that? That would be ideal um, to have a, uh, a faculty member available. Um, most districts utilize an instructional coach. Uh -huh. um, that looks <clears throat> different things in different districts, um, but a, a faculty member can go in and do the integration. That's a weakness in our department, and that's been identified really for several years. Since I took that position, we know that that is a weakness. We are technical folk, none of us came out of the classroom, so right. um, our trainings right now, we can show you how to use the product. Right, but, right. but you're not an educator. Yeah, yeah. that's not right. integrating yeah. the product. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. one of the things we don't want to see is technology used just for the sake of no. using it. Right. Um, and we struggle to be able to set any expectations for technology use right now because we do not have any reliable method um, to deliver that instruction. So um, yeah, we <coughs> have, um, I floated some ideas to, to Mr. Harris, I'm not sure what has made its way to the board. Not as far as reassigning some faculty members and different things of that nature uh, that can carry that out um, in the district and would have that um, you know, in-district knowledge um, to, to operate and execute on that. But uh, that is, it's a huge, that's a huge piece. Um, okay. Otherwise, you know, we could be giving these kids uh, you know, paperweights. And that goes back to that area where you can even use a screen capture video type thing where you're not utilizing that person mm -hmm. The money, all the, the cost that goes along with that, Correct. over and over and over and over yeah. and over and over and over again. Yep. Just, no, yeah, you right. set it up, video. These kids are used to looking at videos. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it might not be the best training for somebody my age, but their age, it, it's tremendous. Well, but, but this, to, I'm more thinking of the teachers. Right. How the teachers yeah. have how to. Well, and, yeah, you know, you're too, right. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, we have, we have so many areas that, with from a training perspective, even just an employee <coughs> onboarding perspective, the video piece. I mean, that'd be perfect. We have teachers, long-term subs coming in and out throughout the year, mm -hmm. if we can at minimum point them to those kind of videos until they can sit down with us. I mean, oh, be, those yeah. are all the... I, I the, think it gives you a picture of who they are, too. I mean, you get one person who looks at one video, and you look at another person who looked at 20 videos. Mm -hmm. Who's trying to do a better job? Right. I mean, that's a good evaluation tool yeah. we use it all yeah. the time. And the administrative staff that's in place, as you guys have, have been made aware, 
it's great and we try to do, but we are already stretched thin. Mm -hmm. So to be for us to be able to, let alone the supervisor to the teacher component, they are not as apt to say, well, like, <coughs> I think I'm going to try this. Do you want to come see how yeah, it goes? Yeah, and then yeah. it's a big flop and they're like, okay, right. now am I going to be negatively yeah, evaluated? Yeah, yeah, I can it. see that. That's right. a poor component that doesn't, you know, challenge our teachers to stretch themselves. Right. Um, and to try something that may turn out to be fantastic, but they don't want to do it in front of me. No, right. You're you right. Know? So you're it's, right. it's something that creates the challenges, let alone, <coughs> I, I quite honestly don't know how I have the time to be able to support right. them in the fashion that they're going to need for a sure. successful implementation. Yeah, yeah there's, there's definitely a need. You said you floated some ideas to, to, to Mr. Harris. Yeah. Could you share those as well, or should we go to Jim? I, 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 I can share them. I don't know if you want me to share them publicly, but I can definitely yeah. share them with you. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, have, I have a quick question. I'm looking at the payment schedule. Um, it looks like the first payment is due um, at the, on the first day of our fiscal year. Will that come out of, of the current? I'm, I'm not fiscal year. I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess fiscal year because yeah. we run we run uh, July to June, right? Quite correct. So yeah. will that payment come out of this fiscal year or next? Eighteen nineteen. Year? So no, what you're next year. So so because yeah. it says here it's due like the first the it, first day. Yeah. It, it's, okay. Yeah, it's, okay. It's not. That is standard language we see, but Got it. yeah, as far as actual processing. Well, I guess even if it is there, I mean, we, we have the money somewhere. It's just that that's an accounting issue. No, I, I wanted to know <laughs> yeah. if if this hundred and ten thousand that we would be paying was already budgeted for this past year. That's that was going to be the next oh, question. Oh, oh, so, so it's not. Depending uh, on I, what I, the answer is. I got it. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They'll invoice us July one. Most of them, you gotcha. look at it. Most of our agreements. That, July 1 to June 30, but yeah, they're not expecting the check in Cupertino on, Got it. on July 1, um, where they are. It's not arriving That's July 1. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a good thought, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I think I'm good for now on that. I mean, we'll want to continue to check in and see how we're going. Okay. All right, then the, the last item that I have on the agenda is um, cyber learning infrastructure. There's been conversations as to ways that we can increase our, our cyber learning opportunities. And I wanted to see if we had infrastructure in place that we'd be able to support that if, if we'd like to move forward. Yeah, so, um, yes, I mean, really, what we'll be using for the one-to-one -one program for, you know, your in-house brick and mortar, mm -hmm. um, very easily, um, you know, really scaffolds out to uh, cyber learning. So Schoology is a learning management system. Um, so again, you know, higher ed, it's Blackboard is what most people are familiar with. Um, but we can develop uh, courses in there. Okay. Um, that platform interfaces directly with eScore, our current student information system, so grades, everything syncs back and forth. Um, it's accessible via app, iPad app, any browser. Um, so really, we can utilize existing in-house resources. It's not like we're limited by how many courses we have in there or anything <coughs> like that. Okay. Um, Including people? What's that? Including people. In, uh, you, said, in, in, you said in-house resources. Oh. I mean, do we have enough people? Oh, so oh. that's a separate conversation. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I, I do not know the answer to one way or the other from a course development perspective. Yeah. yeah. Um, from a yeah, from the technical side, it's sitting there. We can we can do it. Our uh, you know, Mr. Sports at high school piloted it with Keystone training that right. we roll a couple of teachers into a class this year and use it for our faculty to complete an online training. I just wanted clarification on that. Yeah, yeah. yes. The, the, yeah, I'm sure that's a We're, we're talking a infrastructure now. Okay. Yeah, so that, that is, um, yeah. So it sounds like I, I didn't realize. Schoology has a learning management system. Yeah. There's an LMS. Okay, that, yeah. that, that's good. As far as like in the building, if we had someone, you know, if we wanted an area for training, if someone was doing that, is, do we have space that mm -hmm. set up? That, yeah, one of our plans. High school, um, middle school. Okay. What's that? Yeah, we're, we're, we are a lot. Well, I, I, I know we have a, a, a space with, that has the technology in it to, to provide. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, yeah, at the high school, what we'll be looking at is a lot of the fixed wired labs that previously existed. Uh -huh. They're not needed anymore because okay. every kid will have a device. So those become um, open spaces. Okay. Um, we're also looking, um, I'll put on my Blazer Foundation hat, uh, whether the Blazer Foundation can provide funding to create like a, a cyber um, center, like, you know, coffee tables, high top tables, you know, think of, again, that higher ed model, they have a cafe, they can go sit and work, <coughs> right. um, mm -hmm. sure. that sort of thing. So Mr. Mike's uh, looking at the uh, student union, which is a, a large space that we could um, use that for uh, in that capacity. So, yeah, I don't think, from a physical pers space perspective, I don't think they're really okay. He's if anticipating. If you have the student union, does that mean that the kids <coughs> lose the use of yeah. the student union? Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, okay. okay. All right. Because uh, right now it's limited for who goes, but it's a very large space. It's one of the annex cafeterias. Yeah, yeah, I know so where it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's the component of. No, I didn't know if it meant that the kids that go. Yeah, to that's right. I thought I had heard kids. We're going to be shut out of yeah. that building. Yeah, that's, yeah. What that's, that's good clarification. No, we're trying to make it more conducive to them actually being able to use their okay. devices. Uh, of course, uh, that was a sore point this year. Not technology, but there was no one to supervise the students. Yeah. So it was closed. Right. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, well, I think that covered what I wanted to hit. Um, that's everything on the agenda. Anybody have anything else? No, thank you. Thank All right. You. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for attending. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so it is uh, right at 7 o'clock, and uh, technology yeah. committee meeting for May is completed. All right. Thanks, everyone.